Walking Dead No Survival or No Survivors mm. comes from Cryptozoic. You can see how much Jonathan loves The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> so this is based directly on the TV show, mm -hmm. not the comics. I am actually a fan of the TV show, although it's... I, I think I'm a lot more favorable or charitable to it than uh, mo a lot of people who watch it. Uh, I th I don't... Have you watched any of it? Or no? I've watched, like, the first... Like, but... I don't know. I just It's one of those shows... There's certain shows to me that I'm not behind because I can't binge watch them. Hmm. Like, I sort of have to stop after a while. <laughs> right. It's, it's intense. <laughs> uh, Usually it involves that there's a lot of people backside each other. I can't handle that in, lar in do large doses. Well, and that's... That, that happens in this show. It's, uh... So, and the game is definitely following suit. This is not the first Walking Dead game, by any means. No, I mean, Cryptozoic has, like, what, four under their belt? There's... And then there's also the one from Z-Man slash Skybound. Mm -hmm. Uh, so... There's the Munchkin. That's, that's right, the Walking Dead Munchkin expansion. So, they are definitely out there. This one sounds like they're really trying to take on the theme of the show, where, uh, you're questioning people's... each other's decision. It is fully cooperative, but there's... someone is appointed the leader, and you can, if you question their decisions, the group can appoint a new leader. So there's kind of these yeah. dynamics. So the way the game works is it's a miniatures game. Right. Shocker. Lots of them. <laughs> but you each choose one of, I think the base comes with four survivors, but you can get more. Uh, anyways, usually someone becomes the leader. I don't know if there's any, I can't remember them saying how someone becomes a leader outside of just your leader. Mm -hmm. But everyone has three stress. Should you get three stress, you lose leadership. And to, on the beginning of each turn, you actually have to pick two cards. Okay. And they'll have either... The leader a, or... The any, leader. Okay. And everyone sees them, so it's not like you don't know, I think. At least they showed both of them, because mm -hmm. it has to go to the discard pile. But you see the discard effects. Depending on which one you discard, something bad happens. Okay. So you can see, depending on what you choose, and if people don't like it, they can give you a stress. So it a little, sounds a little like Battlestar or Dead of Winter where Honest, no, honestly, like someone has to make a decision. Description, mm -hmm. A lot of it just sounds like, it sounds like they took like every good zombie game, like, <laughs> let's put it all together. Well, that's the thing we always talk about where, you know, the thing about the zombies, you want the game to be, we, want, we like the games to be less about fighting them and more about the interpersonal issues. And that definitely sounds like that they've capitalized on that. Right, and there's definitely a lot more of a focus I can tell on I, I mean, like I said, I haven't watched as much Walking Dead, you can tell me otherwise, of, like, who is the one in charge? Yeah, well, yeah, in the show, I mean, it's pretty much always Rick. <laughs> but there definitely are those disputes a lot of the times. Right. Uh, but this is also the, a big deal because the designers, I believe their names were Adam and Brady Sadler, mm -hmm. are no spring chickens to the field of board games. Sorry. That was a sentence. <laughs> they just happened that way. They have worked, used to work for Fantasy Flight doing games like Descent, X-Wing, uh, and the re recently the Warcraft, not Warcraft, jeez, I'm dying today, Warhammer Quest adventure card game. Mm -hmm. So great pedigree for these guys. And, you know, as someone who's sometimes a uh, little down on Cryptozoic, it's not, it's, they have, these designers clearly have some good games under their belt and, and know what they're doing, which is, which is very encouraging for a licensed game, uh, especially for one based on a popular TV show that's going to get funded with miniatures no matter what they do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it, this is, now this is $40 without any miniatures. That's just a, that's it. I, I, it must I have tokens. Them separately. Yes. There's two versions. If you want the full thing with all the miniatures, it's 125. And that doesn't include the expansions, which they already have like three or four. And I know like one of them includes the, um, what's her name, the girl with the katana? Uh, Michonne? Yeah, and I know she's a very popular character. Yeah. Uh, and what? One, I know there are Kickstarter exclusives of the governor. Hmm. Um, I think a hunter version of, of oh God, what's his name with the crossbow? Daryl. Daryl. I, I had a DA in my head. <laughs> That's a good point because it's one to four players. There's a solo mode. And... There's only four characters to choose from, it sounds in like, the in base, the base. Yeah. Which is, kind of, for a show that has a lot of characters, that's a little disappointing. Well, no, that's like, the, each expansion comes with four more. They're definitely so they, they I mean, that. the thing is, you know that they could. I, I, well, that's, look at Descent and X-Wing. <laughs> what do you expect, I guess? That's sort of their business model. But, uh, yeah, either, anyway, I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, how, do you remember how much Ghostbusters 
was for the Kickstarter, like the full version. I should, because I got it. Was it 100 plus? I think so, yeah. I'm, just, I'm trying to measure out when this actually hits retail, if it will well, actually one, be 125. One of the things I'm curious about, though, because I'm looking at the... Oh, it's not. For some reason, I thought the Ghostbusters was behind us. <laughs> I got a lot of different measures. There are also different sizes and stuff. Mm. Like, you know, I got the Slimer in green, these guys in blue, the giant Marshmallow Man. These guys this are This is all like zombie. 50, one size fits you get all. like 50 zombies. <laughs> right. I think there is... Well, there's four enemy things I saw. There's regular walkers. That's what they're called, right? Mm -hmm. There's fire walkers. <laughs> fire walker with me? I assume... Is it just on fire? I mean, you uh, feel free to I have tell. never... Well... And then there's two. They have the same name, but they're just different models of... I think they call them adversaries. So I assume it's like other humans who run across and stuff. Mm. But, so like that's one thing I'm very curious about. Like, is this because it? I think it comes with fifty zombies or something. Yeah, they said something like that. Like so, a very <laughs> large amount, though. So, yeah. but I think it could because it plays on scenarios based on things in the show. And I think with the leadership and stuff, they can really pull it off. And I think where this will shine over, because while we, I did just say earlier how it pulls from looks like it pulls from every zombie game. There's another one I was thinking of when we were watching it, mm. like. Um, the uh, Dead 15. of Winter. In yeah. That was the other one I was thinking of a lot of. Um, also because I think it had a bunch of zombie miniatures in it. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> uh, like, unlike the other two, like, Dead of Winter, like, I, I'm, I'm leading a group of people. This one really focused, you are Rick. Like, you, mm. it's much more personal, I feel. Mm. Well, yeah. And so I think that will right. help shine and make it stand out. Because I do think that the leadership thing is completely different. It is also nice, even though you have the leader thing, that it actually is fully co-op and not, you're not, I don't think you're really, you're not really backstabbing, you're just kind of like disapproving and arguing, but you're, no one's actually a traitor. Well, the other thing I think, we sort of are like talking about how expensive it is all the miniatures. We should actually be applauding them for allowing a non-miniature version. So oh. if you want to play the game, That's pretty you're not cool, like, yeah. I'm out. I don't have $125 to drop, and I don't paint miniatures and stuff. I mean, you can have that. Yeah. And I don't I, think that's a bad thing. I would love, and probably you could do this with add-ons, maybe just miniatures for the player characters and the zombies not, because that's probably, I don't know. I, I would keep an eye out for that, to be honest, because yeah. I see a lot. Almost every miniature campaign l lets you buy the, have like, this is mm -hmm. the hero set miniatures. Yeah. Or so I don't think that's a far stretch. And I'm not just talking about, like, random ones, like, Actually, no, Ghostbusters, and now Script is Oak, too. Yeah, so... They're going yeah. to the miniature market a lot. <laughs> I know, those, they're crazy. No, so guys. they did for Ghostbusters, so yeah, keep an eye out if that's your, your, uh, what you'd like to do. That's your cup of tea. So I think that isn't in the far stretch, and that maybe you should buy the game and wait to get the miniatures, too. So definitely something to keep an eye out for. Yeah, if you, I, it sounds like if you are a fan of the Walking Dead TV show, it's a no-brainer, I think. Oh, absolutely. Get it? Because zombies, they eat them. 